Hello, my crafty friends. Well, we're going to be doing some more, well, another page. Um, I want to do, we've done B and C and F and M. And I decided I'm going to just work on the backs of these today. Um, and so I'm going to start with A, which I guess is really the front. Um, in case you haven't seen my other videos, this is what I'm using um, to do my pages on. Extra, whatever that is, extra large, extra something. <laughs> Bristol smooth paper, 100 pound, um, seven, by, seven inches by 10 inches. And I am turning my, you know, pages sideways like this. I like that look. I'm going to move these out of the way up here. And let's see what I have for A. I decided I'm just going to use what I have, even if it's not um, as much as I would like to have on here. We're just going to, we're going to make it work. That's what I decided. Okay. And we're going to start with dictionary page. Um, I don't know if you, if you've seen the other ones, but I always have a dictionary page on there with a word that is um, hopefully nice up there. Oh, I didn't ink this one. I need to ink it. But um, anyway, the word on this one is going to be abundant. And I'm just going to glue it down, and then we will start auditioning the other pieces. Um, and this... Well, I know what I'm going to put on here if um, <laughs> I forgot that I had something big. Because I have, just, once I started <laughs> um, making sure there was, letting the dictionary page be my white space, then I've decided, you know, I kind of have to do them all that way. So, <laughs> so I got to um, gotta put the... I probably went too far with my glue, but that's all right. Oh, come on. And I usually, um, tear off the top of there, and I forgot to do that this time. That's all right. Well, I didn't overdo it. In fact, I have some places I'm going to have to slide some of this into there. Well, need to refill my bottle, too. Okay. Now we're going to go ahead and take this off so I can see where the bottom of the page is. Okay, let me get this. Um, I had a small picture somewhere in here of the Alamo. But I decided if I put a big picture, then I can, um, I can put stuff over the top of it. So I think that's what I'm going to do. And I'm just going to use this to cover up the rest of the white space. And then we will move on. If you don't know already, I'm a Texan. Lived in Amarillo, Texas all my life and very happily, actually. Um, I, I still remember the first time I went to see the Alamo. It was so much smaller than I thought it was. I, <laughs> in my head, it was this huge thing, you know. And that's crooked. Well, it's just going to be crooked. Um, but it wasn't that huge. I mean, the, the grounds around the actual mission, you know, are bigger. But the mission itself is really actually pretty small. Anyway. 
my kids th had the same reaction. <laughs> this is a lot smaller than I thought it would be. Okay. There we go. I like that. I've got an arch. And alphabet. Let's take the white stuff off of that. We've got another arch. And an arrow. And I have an armadillo here. <laughs> Since I live in Amarillo, we'll, we'll put an armadillo on here. And we've got the word adventure. Do I have another word? No. Oh, I have the word art. We may put them both on here because the art word is artistic <laughs> and the adventure is not artistic. But it's a good word. So we'll think about that. I've got an accordion. And there was my other picture of the Alamo that I was going to use if I had bigger stuff. So, um,. See, I may not have needed I may could have used that little picture. Okay, let's take the arches out for right now. Let's put art up there. I'm tempted to let that A in art just be my A. Um I'm not sure. Let's take um, that so that it's not a straight. Well, it's not a straight piece that way. And then we can have our armadillo listening to our accordion player. There's an A. We could have it right here on top of the alphabet. That actually looks pretty good. Okay. Don't need these other A's. Don't need that other Alamo. All right, let's try. Let's see what it would be like. Put this arch in. I don't think I like the arch as much as I like this other stuff, so. Let's stick adventure. Let's trim it a little more. And let's see if we can stick it right on here. Let me zoom you in a little bit. I'm sorry. I didn't, I wasn't paying attention to that. I just was excited to play. There we go. I don't know if adventure should point at the Alamo, though. That was not the kind of adventure people wanted. Um, hmm. 
there we go. How about this? I'm going to point at art. Hmm. Maybe we just want part of this arch. Let's try it and see. No, I just can't make that work. It's just it's just not going to. <laughs> it's just not going to. So we're going to quit worrying about it. And we're going to be happy with this. Okay. And I'm going to get out my glue. Sorry, my brush was wet. I have to I just leave this glue brush in some water so that it doesn't get hard. <laughs> so I should have put something under here. I should have. No, let's not. <laughs> let's, it didn't want to straighten up. Let me get something to put under this. There we go. Okay, let's go ahead and mod podge over the whole thing here. Oh, come back. And our arrow, anything right there. And adventure, we're going to put right inside the arrow. And we're going to go ahead and put this A right up here with our alphabet. And our accordion player up there, and our armadillo right there. amazing how the different kinds of papers react differently to the glue. Okay. There we go. There's our A page. And I will 
come back and trim off and ink and all that later, but it's got to dry first. So, yay! On to the next project. God bless you. Bye-bye.